Welcome back everyone. Well, in this session, before I start, I would like to have a friendly talk. Well, in this season so far, we've spent an hour and 45 minutes and this is what we've designed so far. Well, I could have written these codes in five minutes and explain all of them in like 15 minutes. But since I wanted to explain everything deeply, I have spent so much more time than usual. Some people explain a whole HTML CSS course in like two hours. And I don't want to say that's a bad course, but I don't believe that's as helpful as this course, especially for someone who's trying to start HTML CSS from absolute zero. For example, go ahead and ask some developers about the difference between inline and inline block. They might know the difference between block and inline, but I don't think they know the difference between inline block and inline. And believe me, the difference between a good developer and let's say not a good developer is exactly in this basic knowledge of any programming language. And as you might all agree that in all professions, we have some people who are not good at their job and we have some people are just out of this world. And always and always the difference comes back to basic stuff. And what is the base of web development? HTML and CSS. And what is the base of HTML, C HTML CSS? Exactly these sessions that we have. So appreciate what you're doing. And uh, let's get back to our codes and start the good stuff. In this session, the first thing I want to fix is our HTML codes. For example, if we take a look at here, we have so many elements here that we haven't included them in our HTML document yet. Well, we first want to have all of these elements inside our document, and then later we will start to position them in their correct spot. Uh, the first thing I want to fix, let's start, is this email password label for these inputs. And we can use a span tag for these email and password, but the better way is actually using a label tag. Label tags are created for exactly input to tags. And they have a small difference with label tags, but they are created to be used beside input tags. For example, I create a label here and it has a for attribute. I will tell you what is this for attribute in a minute. If the first label is our email and the second label should be password. Okay, so in, in here we have two labels, but what is this for attribute? This for attribute is created to attach this label to an input. In fact, this label is trying to say this label is for, for what? For what? We need to first create an attachment be between this label and input. We first assign an ID to this input. Well, as I told you in the previous session that IDs are they, they rarely use we rarely use IDs but in CSS selectors for example when we are in our CSS code and we want to select a tag we rarely use ID but here we do not want to create uh, or use it in with CSS here we just want to create an attachment between these two. So actually ID is used in such circumstances and we will see what ID is used other than being a CSS selector. So ID for, for as a CSS selector has been rarely used, but it's it has some usages except that one. So let's create an let's create this e ID uh, for email. So we have we attach an email ID for this. And now this label and this input 
are attached together. And what happens when they attach together? For example, is when I click on this email tag, you can see this will be focused, this input input tag, and we, uh, we can type there. But when I click on this password, nothing happens because it hasn't been attached yet. It can be very useful for smaller screen, for example, in mobile devices. So let's go here and use another we can name it whatever we want for example we can i just can i can go here and for example use john okay the sorry the id is john and the it, it is for john okay and now as you can go to our course we will see it will work just fine ju exactly just like that so we can use whatever the name we want as long as these two are the same so but let's create something more meaningful i double click on this hit control d and hit control v so uh, that i can paste this and let's see our result here hit refresh and the only thing i want to say that these two are in two separate lines right if you take a look at this this is a section or division this is a div this, is, this is another division so we go to our codes and put them inside a div tag and what happens is it will be used uh, and the div tag is a block attribute so they will automatically align uh, below each other okay so let's go here and hit refresh and they are below each other and this email and password this is what we are going to fix fix in future for example we can give a block display to this input types so that they are in different lines we will fix that in future for now we just want to have our html content so the second thing here is a forgot password here and th there's an icon there we will fix that icon as well and this forgot password is a link actually so let's get back to our code and create our link here for example this is an a tag and we will say forgot password forgot password but uh, what what are we going for our href attribute well in when i haven't des designed a web page for that purpose yet so i put a pound sign this pound sign means that we will create something in future uh, uh, for example uh, something password recovery html and when we created that we will use that for our hr factor but for now we do not have any uh, where to redirect users so for for now we just put a pound sign so that we have a hr and this is our forgot password it is created here so this is our first div second div and let's get back to our codes here now we have another division which is used for our button so you can go here and create a div there are two ways in order to create a button first of all is input tag in input we we, we saw what does this type text do and what does this type password do and there's another type called button okay the button will be created okay but what should the text inside it be so for example the button is created but there is no text inside it well the text inside it will we can put the value for this uh, so this input has a value and this this value is login with an icon there as you can see there's an icon we will use icons in future for example this icon here or this icon here but for now we just create this login here and as you can see now we have a button here well the more common way this input uh, using a input type button well people usually don't use input type button although i have seen some people doing that but it is more uh, more common that people use button tags for this so let's uh, comment this out first so you have this code in here but i just don't want to clean them so that you have them when you download the codes in your device and this we create a button tag well the text inside this button is actually login and let's get back to our codes and hit refresh and we can see the exact button is here with no difference so button tag is more uh, common compared to input type button so that's and that's what we're going to use 
So let's get back to the code and the, we want to have the, our uh, this division which starts with or continue with and three icons it, uh, three buttons here we have three and uh, th three more buttons we use p tag for this uh, we, because i want to have a block element or continue with uh, and we will fix the color and we have three buttons here for now i just uh, have this uh, i just write a uh, triple dot in it i will fix uh, the content inside this button tag and we have that uh, three buttons that we wanted but I want to use these images inside this because if I go to our uh, to uh, my codes here HTML login page uh, in this images folder we have our google uh, dot svg where is it google svg we have our github svg we have our facebook svg and I want to use them in my document so i need to attach an image to my document in order to attach images there's a tag called img tag and this is a single tag it's not a double tag well as you can see it has two attributes the first one is src and the second one is alt let's first uh, explain this src this src is short for source and we need to write down the path of that image file for example here we had a path writing the same path writing rules in these two lines will be applied here so the path writing rule is looks like we need to first say that go inside this images folder so go inside this images folder and attach this uh, google.svg and what is this alt attribute well this alt attribute has two purposes the first one is that this alt attribute is good for search engine optimization or people call it CO, SEO. This CO thing is, well, you have seen sometimes, for example, you search shoes in Google, right? And you, you see that one page is on top and one page is just in, in next pages or third option or fourth rank. Well, Google has a ranking system and it has too many factors in order to determine what which website has more rank or is better. And, but one of them is actually writing a good code structure or having a good co code structure. For example, this lang attribute helps us in order to have a good code structure for CO or this title attribute or even this alt attribute. So the first thing is that it helps search engine optimization because it's actually helping the search engine to understand what this image is about. So we use Google in order to tell the brow tell the search engines that this this is a Google logo, okay? Google logo. And the same thing I copy this the same thing for the other two. I highlight this, I hit control D so that the next uh, triple dot will be selected and hit control V and I paste these here and hit double click on this Google and hit control D so that the next Google will be highlighted and I can now type I will type the se or the second icon was github github and now we, let's use this the third one uh, for example I can use control D again to highlight them for example uh, when 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 I when I was here I hit the down arrow so these two became down and I now I can hit control D so that the current word will be hovered and this is it and now I write Facebook these shortcuts will help you to write faster code okay we come here hit refresh and now we have our three uh, buttons here and we will fix the height and width of these elements but for now we just want to have our HTML structure completed and after this or continue with we have two uh, texts here and we create another division for this purpose another div here and we will use a p tag for this don't you have an account and we will use an a tag for this sign up an a tag for the sign up and since this is a block attribute and these two are beside each other not under each other so i use uh, i rather use a span tag for this purpose okay and i put a pound sign for a href 
here because I want to mention that in future I will have a valid href here but for now I just put a pound sign or a hashtag sign so this is it this is all that we have this is all our HTML content except these two images we can have these two images using IMG tag but the position of these two is very different it's kind of some somehow is is just random randomly it looks like random but so since we don't know this i will cover these to have these two images in future but for now i just wanted to have our html content and now as you can see our html content is completed and let's clean this temp here this blue area that we had let's clean this blue area where is our blue this is our blue area i will have it have this blue area in a proper way because we have no content inside that we will uh, and i will fix that and this is it this is all i wanted you to learn in this session so let's get back to our powerpoint and let's sum up what we learned and if we sum up what we learned these are uh, some new tags that we learned in this session and we for now for example in input type we haven't yet seen how value or placeholder works the value we have seen just a little of it uh, if when we use input type button but uh, that's that has another meaning as well this value so I can say we haven't fully covered this value attribute for now value placeholder and name is something that we will cover but uh, we now we have uh, for now we have uh, three different types for our inputs it has m so many more types but for now we know the three of them the text which is the default one but default one I mean if we create a, an input tag and we for example forget to use type attribute or even don't even use any type attribute the default type that browser chooses for this input is type text input and the second type that we learned was password and the third one that we learned is button type which this input type button is not commonly used because people rather use button tag instead of input type button and we saw what label is it, it is a uh, double tag and it is for uh, it has a specific attribute which is that for and we saw what is this and the this this is not double let's fix that this img is not double this img is single so this is it uh, this is all we learned and we had by attributes known we had so many new attributes but the attributes were specific to tags by attributes none I mean we had no general attribute and these all are that we learned in this session so uh, see I hope that I can see you in next session